5,000 people drive Green Tree Hill on the Parkway West every day. And many have noticed the interesting additions atop a new office building there. Money editor John Delano checked it out for us. It's hard to miss if you drive on the Parkway West. Overhanging solar panels atop the new Bentley building constructed by Burns and Scallo, a company committed to sustainability from parking lot to rooftop. This was an opportunity to feature sustainability. Um, solar is a component of the building, and we cantilevered the solar out as part of the architectural element of the building so people could recognize the tangibility of it. As you enter the building, a chart shows how much energy the building is actually producing. And forget the notion that Pittsburgh is too cloudy for solar panels. Pittsburgh has a reputation for being a very cloudy city. Sure it does. Sure Not it does. true? Not true at all. Pittsburgh gets as much light as many places in the country. Mike Carnahan is the general manager of Scalo Solar Solutions, and he took us to the rooftop to see the panels that produce about 10% of the building's electrical needs. It's very hard to be 100% in an office building. Uh, the more floors you have, the more people you have in it, the more power usage, the more air conditioning you need, it's very hard to get 100% off of that. Only part of the roof has solar panels, while the entire roof is covered by a white membrane. So why the white membrane on the roof of this building? Well, because it reflects sunlight, and these solar panels are double-sided. They can take in solar energy both underneath the panel and on top. And when the electricity produced is not needed, it flows back to the utility company. So on the weekends, even when we're not in this building, we're producing solar power and it's not being used. So it goes right back to the utility company through our meter, just like you have a meter on your home. It's called net metering. So the utility company actually buys that power back dollar for dollar. John Delano, KDKA TV News.